A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you, and I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning with the house. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent, open immediately. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. Inner will, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Maybe she thought I'd know, or she thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. The woods around the house have always been uncomfortably silent. As if they're about to say something, but never do. The house was exactly like I remembered it, the way I'd been dreaming about it. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Now, as a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. The power had been turned off the night we left. For the first time in years, I 
felt like I was home. But instead of a family, there were just memories of one. Like how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. Or how only one restaurant would deliver to our house, so we had Chinese a lot. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it, like a smile with too many teeth. Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. All right, guys, I think this is a good spot for me to bring out my mic. Hello, everyone. RPG Kingdom Kid here with a new Let's Play of What Remains of Edith Finch. How y'all doing? I am interested in this game. This is a game I've heard good things about. It's a game I've heard um, nothing but good things about. Um, it's really great. Um... So I'm actually quite interested in this game. I have no idea what kind of like game this is. I mean, obviously, it's cause I think it's very like a walking thing like this. So okay. All right. So I just wanted to look at all this. So all right. Wow. So she's the only one that's still alive is Edith, which I'm assuming is the person we're playing as. So. Um. Uh. Yeah, uh, I, I'm interested just to, like, see how, what all this is and such, so. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. Let's see. If you have information about Milton, call the orcs. Island Police Department, Milton Fish, missing from Orcs Island, Washington. Date of missing, October 23rd, 2003. Date of birth, 
uh, May 19th, 1992, last seen in Orcas Island, Washington, age of disappearance, 11, height 4'6", weight 57 pounds, race mixed, Indian white, eyes blue, hair black. I'm assuming they never found him. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. I do like how, like, that's the, like, the, uh, the story we're telling. I'm actually quite curious if, maybe not at the beginning when we were on the boat, if that's us leaving here. A After lot Martin of books. Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. Oh. So that's what that's all about. Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with if she hadn't died in 1947. Yeah, before you were born. Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. Why steal off the library then? And that might be why. So is this your room? I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. So I don't know like really what to fully expect. I with think this my game, mom sometimes I... regretted not sealing it up. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Uh, before we go in there, I want to check out other places first, so... Edie's father, Odin, built the original house. Odin. Barbara was a child star for two years. Until America grew out of it. Yeah, she only lived like... God, she was like not even 20. She was only like uh, 16. Yeah, damn. Yeah, let me actually... Well, Prison Triangle also does that. Let's look at this. So, Lewis was... Almost 30. Or, no. Let's see. 10... 20. Yeah, he was like 22. Lewis was 22. Milton was almost 10. Or, Milton was 11, but I guess that's when he went missing. So, unless they actually found his body, maybe... Uh, Edie lived to be almost a hundred. Odin was 57. Walter was 50. Sam was 33. Calvin was only 11. Damn. Barbara right there, just 16. Molly, uh, was 10. But wasn't Molly the name of their dog, so... Unless they had someone else named Molly. Gregory was only a one year old. Damn. Gus was 13. Right? Yeah. Don was almost 
A little over four, uh, almost 50. I'm guessing, I'm guessing the names that are on those leaves are like the married people and everyone else was the, are the actual finches. So I'm guessing Sanjay is like Edith's father and Dawn was her mother. That's my guess. K, I have no idea. K was probably like maybe married to Gus. Or, no, maybe not Gus. Maybe Sam. I don't know. Oh. <sighs> Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. My friend Bigfoot. Introducing Barbara Finch, also starring Bill Button as Bigfoot. Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. The last time I was in Edith Sr.'s room, I was 10 and she was painting my portrait. So that's probably what, like, that's probably what, you know, what remains of Edith Finch is probably the old Edith, not the Edith that we're playing as. My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin. Okay, so Sam's her grandfather. And Calvin's his brother. Okay. As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. This just looks like a bathroom, not a bedroom. And then again, it was only for like one year or something like that. All right, let's go see the secrets that mother hid from us. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. I don't know, maybe we'll learn that Milton's not actually dead. But I had no idea what was behind that door. Just like I had no idea where all this was gonna lead. I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. Hmm. That's kind of funny. Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. Jellyfish. Well, I'll be honest, it's with however long it's been since, you know, they were sealed and everything, uh, looks fairly, uh, fairly clean, you know, not too much dust. I'll look at that later, I want to make, like... I'll look at that, but once I want to make sure I've picked up, looked at everything else first. Alright, Molly, let's read your story. I got the sense Edie had spent a lot of time here before my mom sealed the doors. December 13th, 1947. 
Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. Oh. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. I thought about it. I thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. Gerbil food. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. I kept eating and eating. Ugh. The fuck? I ate a lot of things that night. Is even real? Then I heard chirping outside my window. Mom, can I come out now? Sweetheart, it's late. Go to sleep. So it was Molly's. Mother. Sven? So how did I was Barbara? Because Barbara was... Yeah, Barbara was only born a few years after she... Before she died. Uh, Sam was her father, but... I, I Maybe they don't have the, uh... The, uh... The other, uh, people on here. Wait, no, it... Wait, what? No, Sam... No, Sam isn't her father, because she was born... In 37. He she was born before even Sam was. Molly was the oldest of that line, so Molly, Barbara, Calvin, and Sam are all brother or siblings. I don't know. I'll, I'll be honest. This family tree is kind of fucked. All we know is that uh, maybe it's Edith. Maybe uh, Mother Edith is the parent because we know Sam is her grandfather. So Sam is. Uh. I'm assuming Sam's the father of Gregory, Gus, and Don. And I'm assuming Don is Lewis, Milton, and Eva's mother. Yeah, so, o and Odin was Edith, Eddie, Grandma Edith's father, so. Yeah, maybe they just don't have the, uh, they don't have the, uh, the siblings on there. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. And suddenly... I was a cat! What? I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared.
Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. Babies were all gone. she was getting really tired. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. I gobbled her up. And suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Rabbits. <laughs> oh, can rabbits have something bigger than, or pff, rabbits, can owls eat something bigger than rabbits? I mean, mice aren't bigger than rabbits, um. A mama rabbit. Too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark. Okay. We. off a cliff and into the ocean. Now, I was hungrier than ever. Time for our controls. I wanted fat, juicy seals. Her flipper, and it tasted really good. I grabbed on tight. When I was so hungry, I jumped out of the water. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. and I smelled people everywhere. I 
I was big, but I moved real quiet. Yeah. Ah. I'll be honest, this was not where I thought this game was going to go. I wanted to stop, but also, I didn't. started growling and suddenly I was me again I held my breath for a long time but I couldn't hear anything I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep but it's not going to wait much longer it needs to be and we both know I will be delicious sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. Ah, oh, okay, yeah, so, okay, so, yeah. So Molly was an actual person, but it was also the name of their cat, okay. All right, I'm like, I'm interested to how it's all getting set up right now. So let's see here. If we go through like everyone's stories, that'll be like what one, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Huh, should I do like a part for every story? I feel like that's way too short. Uh, maybe two parts of the story, or two stars, 
two stories apart. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Lurpy, Rob, Purply, Burpy. Sketches. Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. My friend Bigfoot, random junk, Edith interview, home movies, weird America, the Finches, conspiracy now, Sam photo award 69, Sam medal ceremony 68, Edith Jr. lake trip, Molly concepts, the Mysteries of Death and Thereafter, Odin Finch, Mural Sketches. One summer, they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. 72-year-old woman refused to evacuate because of a little forest fire. Barbara Concepts. What the fuck does that mean by Concepts? Built 1937, Seven Finch, or Sven. When Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. Dragon kills Finch, tragedy strikes Finch family. Celebrating turns to so nineteen fifteen to nineteen sixty four only uh not nah, a little over fifty fifty one so it's been her husband. Lewis died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. Edie knit me a new pair of gloves every year, just in time to replace the old ones. Molly, Barbara, Calvin, Sam, Walter, Don, Gus, Gregory, Louis, Milton, Edith. Oh, Calvin and Sam were twins. Okay, they were twins. Louis. Her room was like a museum. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune and misfortune. Odin Finch go. buries the latest victims of the family curse. His wife, Ingeborg, and their newborn son, Johan. Uh, so Ingeborg was his wife, which was the name of the leaf. I didn't see a Johan on the On January thing. 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. Well, my guess is the house is the curse. But 40-foot waves off the coast of Washington 
send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Or that. Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Okay, so I was right about that, that Edie, great-grandma Edie, was Molly's mother, and Sven was her husband. So the leaf, the leaves are the, are the, uh, uh, um, spouses. So yeah, Odin with Ingeborg, and Edie is the only surviving relative with Sven, and Molly was their first child, and they had Barbara, and they had the twins, and I'm and Walter as well, and Sam, uh, married Kay, I'm guessing. And they had Gregory, Gus, and Don, and Don married Sanjay, and had uh, Louise, Milton, and Edith. Okay. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. Okay. Norwegian folk tales. Well, all right, guys. I think that's going to do it for this first part of Let's Play What Remains of Edith Finch. In the next part, guys, I guess we keep going through this house. It's a... I don't know. This is a very interesting story, in my opinion. It's it's quite interesting. Uh, and, and not what I expected, especially with the Molly bit. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, thank you all so much for watching this video. Guys, if you liked the video, please give that like button a click. And comment down below what you like about the video, didn't like about the video, and let me know, guys, what you think of, I guess, the way this video, or this, uh, this game starts. Um, it was not how I expected it's gonna, it was gonna start, but let me know if, it's, uh, how you guys feel about it, and if you've played this before. I know it's, it's not that old of a game, but I know it's a fairly old game, but still interesting, that's for sure. So yeah, let me know. And as always, guys, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. And subscribe to the main channel, too. That's in the description below. As well as follow me on Twitter. Both of my main Twitter, the RG Kim Kid Twitter, are in there, too. And thank you all so much for watching once again. And I will see you all next time.